So using the new GPT-40 vision model, I created this right here. So the background is the GPT-40 image model, and this is a Claude clone. And we can chat with it. We can say, give me simple recipe for potato. And look at the styling that we created. We also have this side panel. And if we want to vibe out, we can listen to some music. But it actually doesn't stop there. I added this notes feature and we can now select things. We'll see this plus sign and boom, there we go. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this. Let's not waste any time. Let's just dive straight into the video. So first let's go ahead and take Claude and we're just gonna screenshot the whole site. Let's screenshot it once with it closed and let's screenshot it once with the sidebar open. I want you to turn this into the style of Studio uh, Ghibli with a clean background to the site and make it simple yet beautiful. And so I'm going to upload the simple screenshot of Claude into ChatGPT, generate image, and let's see what it does. And wow, look at this. It's generating. Let's make some clouds and grass in the background of this page. Have clean angles that focus attention on the input field. Okay, it's generating. Take a look at this. This is cool. It's going to put some clouds in the background. Oh, wow. That is very cool. Now what we're going to do is we are going to open up Cursor. Then we're going to just start off from this base template right here, which is just a basic Next.js template. It'll help you get started. Highly recommend just pasting this in. Please, can you turn this app into something that looks like this? And now we're gonna give it an image of Claude and then we're gonna restylize it. So we'll just toss that image in there. This is an AI image uh, or an AI text chat. We're actually gonna use the thinking max mode on Claude. It's quite expensive, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And, and then run the project once you create it. I want it to allow me to chat with Claude, the AI model, and use this API key. All right, so I pasted my API key right here. I wanna keep it covered and secret, but now we're gonna press send. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so now it's forking the repo, which is correct. Okay, so it's done. Let's go ahead and command click on localhost 3000. Okay, so we have an error. Let's go ahead and try and fix this error, paste this in. We have this error. Also put API key in uh, .env file for me, please. Okay, so it's done. Let's go back to our app. Oh, okay, so this is looking good. So we can say, hello, this is Riley. What is the best way to have ice cream? Let's see if this works. Bada boom, bada bang. Ooh, okay, interesting formatting. Let's not worry about that too much now, but we have the AI chat working. So I'm gonna take that image that we created on ChatGPT. I'm gonna download this. So let's just go into cursor and I'm going to go public. In the public folder, I'm just gonna drag that ChatGPT image into the public folder. And I'm just gonna call this bg.png. And I'm gonna say, please make the background of the site have the bg.png in the background. This should be behind the chat. But let's just see what this looks like. Um, okay. Ooh, what the hell? Look at that. That is insane. Oh my. Hello. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this here while it's still coding something. Oh wow, I love it, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Notice there's like a big white bar going across the bottom. I actually don't want that. I just want the input area to be white. And then also notice how the uh, user input and then the AI generated responses are solid white. Instead, I want that to be, um, I want the user input to be very, very light gray background, not fully opaque. And then I want the AI's response to be dark text and then make it like a light blue to white gradient for the response. And have like borders, like, and then also anywhere there's white, I actually don't want it to be fully white, I want it to be like a very off-white tan-ish color. Oh my God, hello there, uh, tell me a poem. Mmm. Very cool. Um, please make the AI background uh, less opaque. And slightly less opaque for the user input. All right, now let's give this a test. Please write three eight line poems about coding with AI. Ooh, yes, that's money. Look at that. We designed this right here. Ooh, let's design the sidebar. Wow, that's crazy. I think that looks really good. Um, wow, nice. Tell me more. Um, about this topic. Oh my God, <laughs> we made this <laughs> so fast. We vibe coded this, this is beautiful. Okay, um, please make a white, a light blue-ish white borders around the, the user inputs and the AI response. Also, make the sidebar background have some sort of um, tan to green gradient that uh, would be cool for nature. Make it look good as the background. No idea how this is gonna look. But that's crazy. So it's editing this chat drawer. And let's scroll over here. Let's press on this. Oh my, look at that. Look at this design. That's insane. So now I'm gonna say, please create a icon that matches this style. An icon that matches this style that would be good for a logo. Um, make this icon um, have rounded edges. Be creative. Oh, wow. Okay, make the wooden part bigger. Remove the background so it's PNG and then have it just be the bottom plant looking. That looks good. So now we're gonna download this. Let's go to cursor and we're gonna take this image right here and we're gonna drag this in and we're just gonna click on it. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna type logo.png and here we're gonna say I just uploaded a uh, logo.png. Uh, Please put this on the top right of the screen and make it big. All right, let's just do that. Make sure we save it. 
Okay. Hmm. 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 Not a biggest fan. Can you please center it where it says good evening, Riley? Instead of it saying good evening, Riley, make it say welcome to Vibe Chat. So we're gonna name this app called uh, Vibe Chat. Okay, we'll try that. Now, let's go ahead and go to ChatGPT and say, please make the um, parts that are engraved, like the plant and circle, make just those parts a gradient of the colors in the image I gave earlier. Actually, this one. And make a dark border around the edge of the square. A light, vibey, meditation, music, relaxing, soulful, energizing, and we'll just hit create. All right, here we go. Ooh, I don't mind this. This is kind of hype, honestly. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of nice. Let's download that bad boy. All right, so now let's. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to go here, and now all we need to do is we need to take that image that we just created, drag it into here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Enter, Command A, Command C, copy the name. Now I'm gonna delete that one, and now we're gonna paste this in right here. We're gonna call this logo.png. Then we're gonna hit Command S. Now it should replace this. Here, so if we go back here, we hit Command R. Let's refresh this. Uh, rerun the server. Hmm. Okay. Please tell me about Brooklyn. Hmm. Okay, okay. Next to that link button, I want you to add a little notepad icon. When I press this, a little notebook should pop up on the right side of the screen. When I highlight any part of the AI response, it should have a little plus icon pop up. And if I press that button, the selected text gets added to that notepad. While that is loading, what I want to do is I want to grab this song that we generated on Suno. I'm going to drag it into public. And I'm going to go song.mp3. I'm going to prepare this prompt. Uh, please have a play button on the top right that plays the song, song.mp3, song.mp3 in public folder. I want to be able to pause it. Okay, let's see how this looks. So I do not see the, um, hello. Okay, so now we have this notepad icon. Let's see what it does. Okay, so notes, uh, tell me a, ooh, it's changing. Okay, so I'm gonna say, tell me about diffusion models in one paragraph. So now we can press this button right here, let's see. Okay, 
All right, so now if we select this, a little plus button pops up. Boom, nice. Tell me a poem about this. And we could just do a portion of this. So in the realm where data streams, chaos reigns and patterns dream. A whisper grew, a subtle scheme, a dance of noise, a diffusive theme. Wow, I like that. Let's save that. Boom, clean. And now we can play music. We're having fun. This is vibe coding. Please move to bottom left corner and make it above the sidebar if opened. And we can pause it. I want the notes panel not to be a right sidebar. I want it to be a floating panel with room on all sides, rounded edges, dark border. All right, <laughs> we did it. Look at this. This is insane. So in one sitting, we created this app, this clone of Claude, but like more vibey. It's called Vibe Chat. So we can say, give me five simple recipes for steak in the air fryer. And okay, wait, so let's actually just chill for a bit. Let's listen to some music. All right, let's go to our previous chats here. Okay, we can press this little button right here. So we now have our notes out. Mm. That sounds good. And we are just vibing. <laughs> 